What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a video that I've been wanting to film for quite some time now, but I just haven't really got around to it. And that is going to be removing some of the clear bra on my E92 M3. As a lot of you guys know, um, when I bought this car, it was pretty much fully wrapped. It's always bothered me that there's a seam going down part of the bumper and you know dirt collects around it. And I've never really had an issue with a lot of stuff kicking up because I usually keep the car pretty clean. But today we're actually going to be removing this piece because it is a little yellow and also has a nasty seam and I just don't have any interest of keeping it on the car. In today's video, we're going to remove this. All you need is a heat gun, a little bit of patience, and then of course the question is what do you use to protect it? Because uh, I used a coating on top of this, but now there's nothing underneath. So to answer your question, I'm going to be using C Quartz UK, which is on the rest of the car. So it will make sense to apply C Quartz to this little area because I want some protection as well. So all we're gonna do is just apply it once I take the clear bra off and we'll be good to go. Okay, so the key is to get the glue warm enough that you can pull off the clear bra. You're going to be wanting to pull next to the car, not up. There is, I guess, always a risk that you could pull off the clear coat, but this is a relatively newer car, so we probably won't have any problems. I don't want to warm it too much, but just enough. And I, I want to be able to touch it. Going to start in this corner here. Yeah, so keep moving. Don't go too don't go too slow with the heat gun. Definitely don't want to go too slow. Get you guys in here. See, I ripped it a little, but that's no big deal. See how I'm pulling down? That is key. guys so clear bra is off as you can see and man that is some white paint of course there's a little edge here which we will be polishing with probably the hybrid I'll grab that in a second here but of course you can tell this car is actually dirty uh, I've driven it a few times so that's why it might look a little darker over here hopefully that's just dirt um, obviously this was preserved really well by the clear bra but of course no issues just heat it up Take your time, I will give you a quick little tip is, I would pull down, you know, have gravity work in your favor as a pulling to the side if you can, if you're in that situation. Um, next, on the other side, I'm probably just gonna do the whole thing down, but I wanted to go to the side, just so you guys can kinda see the difference. Walk over here really quick. Um, you know, obviously this is what it looks like. Some people might freak out, cause they're like, oh, now your car's not protected, but the back never really had any issues, and maybe you can say that's cause of the clear ball, but, even on my 335, there's no no issue. You know, this side, obviously it has this thing, you know, this, this edge. If the whole thing was cleared, it would make a little more sense. But for now, I'm just going to take it off. I, you know, it's yellow. It's, it's definitely not the color of the paint. Uh, but for now, we're just going to take it off and go from there. I'll get the other side off, and then we will polish this little edge. All right, guys, so we are ready to take care of this little area. It's just a little area where the dirt kind of has, has collected. And I don't know, I guess it's just made sort of a little line on the car, which kind of sucks, but um, I'm going to be using Gion Prep, or you can use some sort of alcohol, Car Pro Eraser. And then we are going to be using a Rupus um, Hybrid Nano. You can use a regular polisher, but obviously this is all we need just for that little edge. And then we're gonna be uh, polishing with the yellow pad, Sonax Perfect Finish, as you normally do. It's simple, just give it a little wipe down. And this line might actually go away a little bit. It went away a little bit, but not enough. So I'm just gonna give it a quick little wipe. The 
did an amazing job. As you guys can see, there's a little seam. So this obviously has no clear ball, but there's a little black seam that was where the clear ball was. Of course, this is existing clear ball, which one of the downfalls is that dirt will eventually collect. There's really no way around that. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna finish doing this little area right here. I'll show you the little polish. Well, is that carbon fiber? Of course it's carbon fiber. It's a real deal. Are you impressed? Yeah, pretty or much. Is it a girl? She's a girl. Oh. All my cars are boys. All my cars are girls. I don't want to be hanging out with a bunch of dudes all day, you know? Sorry for that little interruption. Uh, I will say I have a polisher in my hand, which is something that I mentioned earlier that I didn't think this area needed to be polished, but I was inspecting it a little bit more, which may or may not have been a mistake. And now I can see swirls that just need to be polished out. So I can only assume that they put the clear bra on. Um, I actually have no idea when they put the clear bra on, but it definitely wasn't fully polished out when they put the clear bra on. So there's a few um, minor, very, very minor, um, just light swirls and scratches, very, very minimal. So it definitely had a few washes before this was put on and you know, a few wipes. So I'm just gonna do, gonna finish this off. I don't wanna spend too much time um, on video at least, but we're gonna use Sonex Perfect Finish Yellow Pad. We're just gonna polish this area right here because I am gonna be coating it uh, with C-Quartz, but I, I just wanna get it done right. Um, of course, a lot of projects, they end up taking longer than I want, but that is the nature of it. So we're going to just do the typical Sonex Perfect Finish Yellow Pad and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay guys, now we are finally ready to protect the car. You can use whatever you want. I coated the rest of this car, so we are just gonna coat these quarter, little quarter areas with C-Quartz UK. So this is a ceramic coating, um, very popular. It's a little more finicky to work with than other ones out there, um, but it's not terribly bad. That's what that looks like. Do a little bit more. I'm blowing out this this little applicator pad because when I used it last time, um, some of the coating dried in it. So you just want to be careful. Let me get you guys in here. So I'm not going to go into too much depth regarding the coating, but you just have to let it dry uh, not too long, maybe like five to eight minutes, depending on the temperature, and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Obviously the microfiber towel you use will have to go in the garbage. So I recommend using uh, one that is fairly cheap and doesn't lint. This one is just fine, so I'll use it for these panels, and then it has to be thrown out. So just keep that in mind. And I'm looking to see when it looks hazed over, um, it'll have like kind of a, you know, swirly, should be time to wipe this off. Um, okay, perfect, it feels good. It's not too grabby on the towel, but it's just a little grabby, which means it's perfect time to wipe it. All coatings will react a little differently, um, but generally speaking, if they are grabbing the towel too much to wipe off, you've waited too long. So we will just level it. And then we'll be done. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. The key is to take it slow, use the heat, and just use your patience. So a lot of you guys are gonna be asking, are you gonna replace it? Are you gonna clear the whole thing? Are you gonna rip the rest of it off the car? The answer is I am not going to be replacing this area. I don't know if I mentioned that in this video. I, I didn't like the seam, and I don't think it's completely necessary to use the whole rear of the car. I don't think it's really necessary to have the whole rear of the car clear filmed, and it's very expensive, and then you also have to look at it, and I just hate how the dirt collects on the seams. My cars are usually in very good shape. They have a good coat of sealant, or they have wax, or they have some sort of coating on it. I mean, this has C-Quartz UK. You know, there's really no issues with it, so there's no reason to be uh, clear filming the whole darn car. Generally speaking, if it were my choice, I'd probably just do the front uh, fenders and the hood and the front bumper, and maybe the mirrors. 
Um, other than that, I don't really have a reason to do the doors and the sides, but it is nice since I already have it. I bought the car with it on. Uh, that's kind of just some background on the clear film. So no, I don't plan on replacing this. I will probably take it off the inside of the door handles at some point. Right now, I, you know, I just don't feel like doing it right now, but I'm gonna take these off, see how I feel. I'm so glad this seam's gone. I'll put a link in the description for all the products I use. If I forgot to mention uh, anything about them, there'll be a link in the description. Um, so once again, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Wow. It's gone. Were you at the was, No, it was just a little square, like right here. And there's a big seam that's collecting all the dirt. So it's time to say bye. Whatever you're talking, I don't know. What? Understand. It was the it's the clear protective film. You know? So this is what you put so on? This, see how can you see a seam like right here? Right. See how this has a seam? This is, there's a clear film on this car. And there's not any film right here because it is just a little piece that I took off. Oh, is that what was on? Yeah, I stretched, I pulled it off because it's, you know, it's old. Wow. Is that the film that you normally put on? Well, it doesn't, it only looks like that because I ripped it off. So when can the M5 park in the garage? Anytime. Where's it gonna go? I don't know. Up there? Lift. Are we gonna put a lift in? <laughs> Four post? Okay. Twin bush? What kind of lift? Well, how can we put the lift? We can't put a lift in there. We're not putting a lift in no, there. No, don't know. That'd be sweet though. No, you couldn't put We need more BMWs in the garage. You want me to do your car next? Are you joking? What? Are you joking? Let's do it. No way. Two stage paint correction? No way. I get mail and it says, no way. One day sale, $10 off. That sounds good.